Hey guys, uh, so while thinking about doing videos, like I mentioned in my intro, I thought about maybe possibly helping some people who have dealt with the kind of issues that I have, um, have chronic fatigue syndrome, PTSD causing depression and anxiety, um, some low level OCD, um, chronic pain, things like that. So I know how it feels to not want to get out of bed, not be able to get out of bed, to not be able to do anything. And I know it is insanely hard, but one of the biggest things that I can mention is to push yourself. Um, if you're like me at all, you make lists. So you make a list. Make sure you check off at least one thing every day. And then the next day, try to check off two things. And continue and realize that if you don't make it, it doesn't in the world. And you can just start over tomorrow. But always try. Go outside. Whether or not you're aurophobic, agoraphobic, or anything. Go outside. And soak up some vitamin, vitamin D. That's And vitamin D from the sun is so much better than the vitamin D in the pill. So that's pretty much the biggest thing. And if if nothing else, get up, get out of bed, and make your bed. That's the first thing. And that's an accomplishment that shouldn't take very much time. One of the cheats that I do, and it wouldn't work with my ex-husband in the house, is I tucked the ends of my blankets underneath so that it's really easy just to pull up all my blankets at once. Uh, not necessarily so easy when there's a toddler still in the bed and you're trying to make it, but um, that's one thing. Um, and then if you... One thing that... Two things that are my biggest enemy are dishes and laundry. I don't mind washing it. <laughs> it's just folding and putting away. So. Uh, I set a goal. I'm going to wash all the bowls and plates. And wash all the silverware and dishes. Or silverware and cups and lids. Even if I only do one group a day. I at least get that done. I'm going to fold the socks and underwear. I'm going to fold baby's clothes and set out his outfits. I'm going to fold my clothes and put them away. And if I say I'm going to fold the laundry and only get part of it done, put it on the next, the next day's list. And if you have to, put making tomorrow's list on your list. See if you can get to work. I mean, if you're in my area, I know a couple of jobs that'll hire anybody. Um, all you have to do is get out of bed. And that is the hardest part. Now, for about 20 years, I was misdiagnosed with mental conditions I didn't have. And some medications made me feel righteously like shit. And that's where I, I know... You know, not wanting to get out of bed. Whether or not you feel like taking a shower, take a shower. Take a bath. Just sit and soak. Do it for yourself. Find something besides the television and video games that you enjoy. Read. Go outside. I cannot stress the go outside enough. And that's probably one of the biggest problems with today's youth is they don't go outside. The fresh air, even if you live in a toxic city and the vitamin D, 
are so good for you. They're good for your skin. They're good for your mind. Uh, you know, not being out in the sun and, and blistering yourself, but just standing out, taking a walk for 15 minutes, five minutes. Um, and then that builds a door endorphins. <sighs> Sorry, um, it's the end of the night and my, uh, the glue in my mouth isn't sticking. That's another thing. Uh, due to my seizure medication, my teeth were rotting from the inside out, which caused horrible infections, which added to my chronic fatigue. So, eventually I was able to just have them all ripped out and have this made. I also have been wearing glasses my entire life. I now wear contacts. Both of these things add to my daily routine. The contacts I have are really great. They're um, copper vision, biofinity products. This is the name of it. Ah, I'm selling it. And, um, you can leave them in for six days and you just have to take them out one day. Do I have a black eye? I have a black eye. No. I do. Wow, this doesn't hurt, but it's probably from when I had something stuck in my eye. Um, you know, if you used to wear makeup, wear makeup again. Just something. Do things that make you feel good about yourself. And that's something I also need to stress. Do things that make you feel good about yourself. Not a high score in a video game. Maybe you read an entire book within a week. You went to the grocery store by yourself without having to have somebody with you. Um, you organize something. Every day do something positive and constructive. And every day do something positive for yourself that makes you feel proud of you. This is probably going to be one of the most disorganized videos I have ever done, but when it comes to getting better and moving past the shit that puts us in the, in the, you know, makes us want to stay in bed and makes us not want to do anything, the only thing I can say is do it. So I'm going to go clean these. You can just tell they're fake. And then um, go to bed because I have to get up. I go to bed no later than 10. And I'm up by 4, 4, 4.30. Out the door by 5 to work by 5.45. And I also have to drop the baby off. And that's the start of my day. <laughs> um... And then 10 o'clock comes around and I'm back in bed. So, you know, it's just about doing what is best for you. And no matter how hard it is, you have to make the choice. All right. Deuces. Me's got to sleep.